Let's get the, the ring on that allows me to traverse some um, water. Maybe have a look at maybe getting some of that bottom bit done. I honestly don't know if there's any other way down there, though. Oh, why spot? You are here. So, I, I wanted to talk to someone about this, because I noticed a, a, a parallel with Dark Souls 2. I was sitting there talking to Logan's student, and he was all like, Oh, hey, I traveled here with Master Logan. Dark Souls 2. You meet that, uh girl that ends up becoming, you know, the pyromancer, but I think initially she learns regular sorcery, and she's all like, I came here with my master, but then he just kind of ditched me. And then both of them go on to say, well, I guess they ditched us because, uh, you know, our skills weren't as good, and they're not going to ever get there to the point where it will be acceptable. So it was just kind of weird how they both have the exact same setup. And it's interesting. There's all these people in Dark Souls 2 that are like, oh, my memory's foggy, I'm losing my memory and everything else. But what if, it, what if it's even worse than that? What if they end up with other people's memories? What if uh, the Dark Souls 2 teacher guy that you eventually find has got the same memories as Master Logan and he does the same actions. He ditches his student to go off and, you know, learn things by himself. What if the student has got the same memories as the Dark Souls 1 guy? It, it could go crazy. This could go all the way to the top. Oh, if only I'd done that the first couple of times. Jeez. For some reason my uh, attack went short. Just kind of weird. They both had sort of teachers that both just kind of left them hanging out. Okay, I wanted to go over there. Get the ladder. Get kind of that bit done. I don't know why it was important to me, but I did. 
glad he missed me. Yeah. I feel like... It's just kind of bizarre. You know, it could have been like... You could have had something like... Oh, in Dark Souls 1... It's it's a mage that leaves his student, and then in Dark Souls 2 you have like a swordsman that leaves his student. But it's both sorcerers, both times. The only difference is in the, the second game, she just decides to learn pyromancy instead. She's like, oh yeah, I've got more affinity for that. I just think it's kind of freaky. Done it now. Titanite chunk. What a good man. And I also unlocked a great view. Hey, it's the Gargoyle Chapel. Hey, where are the rest of the gargoyles gone? Did they get up and leave? That's fine, I guess. You know, they wanted to get out of there before I came back. Yeah, we are, we are. I was just talking about some crazy parallels between Dark Souls 1 and 2. My insane theories about memories and things. While also heading over towards the Londo. So I got to a bit where the, um, the Cleric Caravan, apparently, according to the NPCs, found their way to Firelink Shrine and also left before I even got to speak to any of them. Which is a little bit unfortunate. And then I was thinking about going to the catacombs. And I, I kind of just went, nah. <laughs> kind of gave up before I started. Freaking catacombs, man. But what I do know is that, you know, patches won't get them. Because patches did. But I think I did too much stuff backwards because, the, the, yeah, the clerics have, have been to town, left town, and done God knows what else. Oh, God. No, why? Why at the last moment did he do of like a flurry of multiple attacks? <sighs> I hate him. I hate him so much. These these Titanite demons can really can really go and I don't know. I'm upset. Is the general gist of what's happening here? We'll get him there. We'll try and get him this time. It's true though, they are unfair. 
by way of being more powerful than I. I really just wish I, I could figure out like what the, the, the best setup was against them. Just like, oh yeah, by the way, you throw chaos at them and they, they hate it or something like that. Yeah, it'd be fun if I could I, if I could just figure out what that something was that we needed. That's something special. I'll get there one day. It's probably magic. You know, the thing I ain't scaling with. I would love a show we can spin. In Ragnarok Online, wizards can cast sense and then find out the exact hit point values, elemental structure, and everything else of all the different enemies, and it's so good. Yeah, I didn't want to do any of that kind of stuff. I'll just let them take the both swings of that attack these these days before I uh, try and go for it. Maybe not even try and attack when he does the leap thing. Okay, both of those. Cool. One, two, and stab. Oh, the big one, so we can get a stab in. One, two, stab. Because that third one just goes right over your head. And that's fine. One, two, stab. It does, it does seem like I'll never figure it out. Oh my god, he should have died from that. That's cheating. That is. Stop it, Titanite Demon. Stop it. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I guess they do have a lot of health too. But if I did double damage, because I knew what, you know, what did extra damage to them, they'd sure have a lot less health. Ground and eight ain't bad though. One. I was just doing ones. Stop doing. He's trying to get me to, to do something that's going to get me killed. He is. He's trying to trick me. This is a scam. No, no, no. I'm not going after a one. And I'm not going after that either. One, two. Bump. Bump. No. To my turn. One. Ah, uh, no, no, no. This, this. Guy, what is it with this guy and his ones? No ones. Also, stop doing that. Come on. Get out of here. If this was Elden Ring, I'd do like, I'd do some block return fires, you know, I love that block counter thing. It makes the game far too easy, but it, it, oh, it's so much fun. Okay, let's read some of the comments. I was like, I'm not going to die, I'm not going to die, just, I'll just focus. Uh, they just have loads of health. Yep, we were talking about that. I think the damage doesn't scale too stupidly with most things. Because you do part slashing, part elemental anyway. So really, in most cases, you only end up doing 1.5 times the damage. 
It's a good point. There's all that stuff on these weapons about, oh, it's a regular, it's a thrust, it's a slash. So I guess regular might be pierce? Maybe thrust is pierce. Strike, slash, and thrust. So regular must be strike then. So we're seeing slash, we're seeing thrust. Do we have anything that says strike on it? We do. So we have strike, slash, thrust. And regular. Well, what the hell is... <laughs> what? Is regular... Does regular just go off of physical defense? Before you get into the categories then. I, I don't know what they're doing there. It's, it's just it's madness. It, it just gets to the point sometimes when I'm looking up this kind of stuff where I'm just like, eh, I, I could sit here and I could I could muse about it. Or I could just get moving and just kill things and just and just, you know Go forward without understanding. I I think I keep a portion of my beginner's luck the the less I find out. So we're good. Uh, cause it's not like you're doing 600 lightning, just do 300 slash 300 lightning. So even if lightning doubled, you'd do 900 overall. True. Only doubling the one thing. Unless it's, you know, one of the games where you, they've got low resistances to both, and then maybe, you know, life's getting better for your... slash as well. I think, I don't think you could do, like, a pyromancy playthrough, because surely you'd just run out of pyromancy before you got to the end. Like, if I'm chucking pyromancy at a rat, then I'm not chucking it at the more dragon, right? I guess it depends if you're skipping mobs or trying to kill everything at least once, like I'm doing. Oh no, I've aggroed the second one! Plus, I have no stamina and he just... You know... Got me. Yeah, I definitely think you'd run past most things. But then you'd be, I think you'd be going around like with, with too few souls. You'd be running around under leveled, surely. So maybe you'd do like a regular level clear, throwing fireballs or whatever. And then you'd run back at the end of it rather than running through the boss door. And then run past everything. I think the problem with the tombment slots is you're going to run out of, like, spells to go in them, or spells that are worthwhile to go in them. Like, I really don't think everything's pure gold. Oh god, there go all my souls. I'm dead, I'm done. Oh well, I don't care about the souls anyway. I just want Titanite demons to die. Yeah, the trap helped me out for like, um, I think one and a half, I think like, it hit him once, he half blocked it once, and then it missed with the third one, but that, that was good, that was good. Glad it wasn't me that got shot. I'm just gonna get shot by something here instead, though. I wish the, the warrior, uh, the water, rather, did a, did a Mario, so that, like, oh, if you fall down into water, you don't take any damage. Because I, I I just don't want to do this bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna die to these snakes on the way back to my souls. I know it. You know it. I think we can all foresee this. But in the Zway we trust, so we will try.
Oh no! I'm dead. Whenever it does the fall and then the um, the plunge attack doesn't work on that first snake, that's it. That's death. Immediately. So I guess I'll be regathering those souls after all. Sense Fortress, it's never good. It'll never be good. It'll only be kind of okay now that I know those those shortcuts and the lifts. It'll be middling at best. It's just kind of ridiculous that there isn't a nice safe way down there where there aren't four total casters just hitting you with lasers. The one upstairs and the three down there. And then the, it's so variable whether you're going to get the plunge attack going. And the more I die, the more I want to run through this quickly. And the more I run through this quickly, the more I, I die. It's self-fulfilling prophecy. I get so tired of Sen's Fortress. I really do. I am so sick of this place. If they just had like a guy here that said, Hey, you want me to take you to Londo? We, we won't go through the fortress. I'll just like wizard warp you to Londo. I'd click it every time. Every time. Every freaking day of the week. <sighs> I got both of them because I for some reason I wanted the Zero Souls patch to be off the floor and be gone. Snake cheats. Literally jumped backwards so that the other one could bite forwards. Fight me one at a time, you dishonorable gits. You know, instead of challenging them to 1v1 DE dust in Counter Strike, I want to challenge them to 1v1 in Sekiro. Mr. Snake. Then we'll see who'll win. You know, I will, I will parry kill you so bad, Mr. Snake. Come find me in Sekiro. We'll settle this. That went around my shield! That was bizarre. My character was holding block. And the sword went behind me and stabbed me <laughs> from the back. Oh, so glitchy. So, so no hitbox. Snake number one. Yep. I just ah. Oh. I am just so unlucky today. I don't know what it is. But my luck just 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 tanked. I should just uh you know, I should not play the lottery today. It's that's cool like that. Although, to be fair, I've never played the lottery. Like, if you ask me, what do I prefer? One pound or the ticket? I, I kind of want the pound. I could put that towards some soda. Ah, oh, missed him. I'm dead. Oh, no, they didn't all fire lasers at the same time. Cool. That was nice of them. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, there's loads of items in here because I'm trying to clear the bottom floor first. So it's just, there's just items everywhere. Yeah, the, the the 
the height difference when anyone's standing on steers, steers, yep, steers in the Dark Souls is as glitchy as all hell. That's in Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Elden Ring, Sakira, all of them. As soon as there's stairs involved, it's just like roll the dice. Oh, you, you play the lottery, okay. But I used to work in, in the before times in retail, uh, in a in a paper shop. So I used to be the guy ringing people up their lottery tickets and the lottery machine. Wow, did a lot of people come in for that. Like the lottery machine is more popular than people coming in to pay their like rent and utility bills with the with the pay machine, where you swipe swipe a card and then it gets paid. It's more popular than any of the the sweets, the newspapers, the drinks. A lot of people came in for the lottery machine. Oh, W. H. Smith. Cool shop. I think um I think I brought my Discworld books in the W. H. Smiths. I remember when I was getting my, like, because I went to work at the place because a friend said, oh, we need more people, come in and work, and I just, I just didn't say no. Uh, and on my, my, my training day, it was all like, yeah, I can't be bothered to teach you the lottery machine, so just tell people it's out of order. Wow, there are a lot of people annoyed with me. People don't like to hear that the lottery machine's out of order, especially when it isn't, and I'm just not trained to use it. So we have this machine that will do the the lottery tickets for people so they can play the national lottery and hope they're going to win millions but generally just lose the money that they put in. Yeah, the same thing with with um like the pay your rent machine. He just said, "Yeah, I can't bother to teach you that either." So I guess people can't pay their rent today. But what does it do? It it prints a proper official ticket that you can hand in and play the official national lottery with and generates all the barcodes and everything else on them so that it's a real ticket. You can't, you know, you can't do the lottery without a ticket. And the lottery is just, you know, just a big prize pool of money that people are hoping to get. Everyone puts in money and one person wins out and becomes a millionaire and does a really poor job at what they do with the money and loses it all, generally. Like, every millionaire story is a bad story from the lotto. Every time. Every time. Yeah, of course. They, they, they choose the numbers, but it just, you know. You, you can't write it down on a scrap of paper, because then everyone would just cheat. So it's a, just a digital ticket. Oh, it's own shop. Wow. Yeah, we're not fancy. We just put it all in with all the sweets, drinks, newspapers, and uh, rubbish. Overpriced single, single can drinks and single candy bars that are like three thousand percent markup. Yeah, you get someone who's coming in for one thing. You just put like a load of items out on display that they're going to come in for 10 things and try and make all that extra cash. Yep. Feed the system, guys. Ah, this guy's kind of too big for the doorway, isn't he? Oh, wow. I don't think that'll ever be the case here. They'll fight against it too much. <laughs> I mean, there's an age limit on the machine. There's supposed to be, like, an age limit on, on, on the cigarettes and stuff, but... You know, my manager told me, oh, you've got to age check 
everybody who wants cigarettes, because else we'll get a fine. And the shop won't pay the fine, you'll pay the fine, and you'll be fired. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to be fired, and I don't want to pay the fine. So I started trying to aid check people, and people just got so mad at me. And I was like, well, it's not, you know, it's not me. It's not my rule. I don't want to do it. And they were like, well, don't do it then. And I'm like, well, yes, but if you're an undercover policeman and I get the fine, I'm going to be kind of unhappy. And they, they were just like, so, that's you. That's not me. You you get the fine. You be unhappy. I don't care about what happens to you. Just don't make this awkward for me. So I love how people just don't care about anyone else. Good times. I gave up on humanity that day. The day they didn't care if I got the fine. Ah, the other one shot me. I just... I just hate the stupid room, and stupid lizards, and the I, just, I just hate it all. Um, well, it's funny, not sure if it's changed, but now 16 year olds in the shop could sell a lot of ticket. But you had to be 18 to buy. Yep. In ours, like, the manager liked to hire people from the school around the corner, so there'd be people 12 to 14 actually as employees in his shop. <laughs> so stupid. Weird guy. Wouldn't recommend working for him. I got... F I basically got fired because my wages went up above what he would have to pay the 12 and 14 year olds. So it's just like, okay, well you're fired and, you know, well, I'll keep them and I'll, you know, more money for me, right? <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay, bye then. Been a good worker and everything the whole time, but I I guess I'm out now. Uh, technically illegal here, but even odds sell to a toddler. Yep, all the money, all for the money. I think for the tickets, it's mostly about making absolutely sure who the winner is. Yeah, like if you if you end up with a ticket and you're underage, you just hand it to the the adult in your family that you think's gonna rob you the least, and then they they just say it's their ticket, job done. But you know you have you have some stories where even like some some celebrities have their parents just rob them, and it's just like well how how do you win there? You know, how do you combat that? The one person you're supposed to be out of trust, and you just get robbed. Like, I didn't spend too much time looking on it, but I don't think Britney Spears' dad is very nice to Britney Spears. But then again, you know, very uneducated on the subject, just glanced by it, didn't really, didn't really have a vested interest there, but, oof. Yeah, these kind of places, to work are dodgy as hell, yep. I seem to recall you were able to buy them, however, and whoever showed up with the ticket was the winner, yeah. It's like, uh, no proof of purchase required, I think is the, the rule on like a lot of these things. Yep. So uh, I think in a lot of shops, if you've got like, things that you can open up and it says uh, you are a winner inside, you can just go into the shop and just tear open all of the packets and try and look for the winning golden ticket to take you to a... Uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, and that's it. You win. There's no rules about proof of purchase on tons of things. Oh, ouch. Goodbye. My god. This room. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why is he lasering all the way from the back there? What did I ever do? There's another laser coming. I can see it. I can feel it. Oh. Nope. Ow. Oh. I 
I'm really starting to dislike running this um, starting starting health playthroughs. I feel like if I was playing as normal guy, selecting normal stats, maybe I'd be able to live through some things on like, oh, look at look at that. I survived on like 20% hit points. Oh man, that was close. And then I'd, I'd just, I'd carry on and I'd win. Oof. Starting to catch up with me having 14 vitality, vigor, whatever, whatever it's called in this game. Even having to check for every game for my my YouTube thumbnails because every now and again they like they call it something else. Oh well, more sense fortress practice for me. Yay! I wonder what kind of damage I take from just dropping off of here. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so curious. Oh my god! No! What? Ah! You can survive the fall. You could survive the fall, guys. You could just, you, you don't have to do the snake highway. You could just fall. And it's fine. Ah, oh, that's so dumb. Stupid planet. Oh, there's a there's a secret door at the top of the ladder. Let's get somewhere kind of safe. So the ladder that's over there, at the opposite end of the room, how you climb up out of here. As soon as you reach the top of the ladder, swing forward, there's a secret wall with another ladder that goes up to the, the giant that opens the door. It's really cool. It was a good find. Uh, but you didn't drop down. Normally that's what people do. I did on the Prepare to Die edition. And, um... I did the first time on my playthrough of, of this, the one time I came down here, and then another time I came up and I attacked the wall, and I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Fake wall, awesome. Oh my god, he's lasering me around the corner? What the hell? Ah, uh, but you can drop down, normally that's what people do, drop down, fight the demon you can see, then look around and see that entrance. For the chains guy, I had to find a secret wall that was upstairs, but for the the demon here, I, I, I came down uh, on the four snakes in the Prepare to Die edition. Like, I definitely um, went through all of it. The first time I ever, ever, ever dropped down here was on top of these guys. So I could kind of see that these guys were bright and that the drop wasn't too far from that bridge down to these snakes. So that's the only way I knew how to get down here. Dropping down onto these snake men. And that's how I've done it every time. So I just didn't know. I just didn't know you could safely fall off of that other ledge. I didn't think about that. How much closer is that other one going to get over here? Jeez, he's walking all the way. Up. Ooh. No! Why? Ah, I was trying to back up, but it was there instead of there, and... Oh, man. Annoying. But no, when it, it, when it comes to, like, looking down and seeing which area was safe, I just didn't think it was safe. Whereas dropping down onto those snakes, it's, like, half the height. But there's three caster snakes and a fourth one above you doing lasers, so... That's that's the way I always went. Because I'm just looking for the safe fall. 
Because I'm just too used to the game just like immediately killing you if you drop off of something too high. And I didn't want that to happen to me. But uh, just a minute ago I felt like I had nothing to lose from trying to see if I could skip the four New Game Plus casters. Because they suck on New Game Plus. They are awful. Yeah, I guess that's true. But because historically these demons have always killed me a lot and I'm going no health man, it's like if I drop down onto this demon, take this much full damage and hit him, I'm gonna die, not him. It's gonna be me that's in the graveyard. I just wish this knucklehead didn't keep on calling his buddy over. We gotta lure him all the way over here, I think, and fight him here. Okay. Uh, did you see that kick down ladder? I. What? Oh, it's not a kick down ladder. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of banner. It's fine. It's fine. I thought that was a kick down ladder, and I'm like, what? I'm so angry. There's more sense fortress that I didn't find. Why won't he come over here a bit more? Come on, come on, come on, buddy. One, no, one, two, stand. Two stand. Come on, nice and safe. Oh no, now he's too far back. Oh, that solved it. Come on, come on, come on. That was close. And that's death. For absolutely no reason, both hits of the 1 2 hit hit me. Even though you just saw on the 50 other times he did it, on the 50 other times he did it, both hits don't connect. And then he saw that I'd almost killed him. He saw that I almost killed him and he just went, you know what? We'll just have both hits connect this time and kill the player because he's winning. And that was the only difference. It was, <laughs> it was just rotten. I hate this dumb fortress, and I hate these dumb demons, and I'm I'm bloodborne levels of mad right now. I'm bloodborne in over here. And it's too hot. Right. Good 
gonna do the fight again, but I'm also gonna put in some speed improvements where I do a couple of extra hits between some of the different attacks, because I think I can I think I can do it. Lord forbid, if I die, I'm gonna die fast. With the extra hits intact. keen on this amount of health. Not too keen on this amount of health at all. Oh, lordy. Thank you for the one Demon Titanite. Thank you very much. Absolutely worth the effort. But it wasn't. And it never was. And it never will be. How did that miss him? It was crazy. I actually literally hit him with my sword and the game just said, nah, nah. I, I feel like this part of Sense Fortress is just going to take me like six times longer <laughs> than the rest of Sense Fortress. Stupid Titanite jerks.
We're getting there though. One left. Uh-oh. Eesh. Oh my god. Freedom. Oh no, wait, there's still one more. <laughs> I, I freedomed too soon. There is still, in fact, one more guy. One more troll under the troll bridge, as far as I'm aware. I might have killed him, I don't know. My brain is shot. Did I kill him already? Really? I don't, I don't remember doing this. I, 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 yeah. I, I think, um, Onion Dad must have got that one, because I, I, no, I don't remember doing it. I swear, man, I'm somewhere else right now. I'm over in Undead Berg, just killing regular foot soldiers, I'm having the time of my life. I'm not here. on a sunny beach somewhere. I could probably do the rest of this with six flasks. I don't need to reset the place. Come on. No way. Yeah, you had your one go. Now it's away time. Oh yeah, getting lyrical. Is this guy gonna lightning push me off the edge to ruin our good time now that we're, you know, we're happy and we're thinking about songs? He is, isn't he? Doink. Doink. Yeah. I'm gonna trust that this guy isn't a mimic today, like he wasn't last time. I'm gonna trust him with that. This cool guy! Yeah! If this was Elden Ring, I could do the 
cool guy pose. Do we have it in this one? Can I do that gangster lean? I can't. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, he's fine. That barely hit him at all. Ooh, blocked it. He said, no way. And I said, yes way. Hey, and you're dead. At least he's here, even if the uh, Clara Caravan isn't. Mm. 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 Oh ho! Oh ho ho ho! Oh. Where did you come from? Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah, so you see my plight? Yes, indeed. I've run up against a wall. Or a ball to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle. But who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna go develop that thing. Let's go. Probably should have stopped at the previous area. But it'll be fine. I can tank it. We're fine. It's all good. This area is not for snakes. No snake. Oh dear. Okay. Show it all. Oh, did that guard follow me out? That was, that was a mistake, sir. That sounded really crunchy when it rolled over his bones. Oh. Don't blame me, man. You followed me out here. Silly, silly snack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was so close. I think this is what we do. We like wait for it to fill up and then the next one smashes the door. And then something, something, something. I don't know. 